This is Cape Canaveral, or as it was known in 1967, Cape Kennedy. It was renamed in 1963 as a tribute to the assassinated president, but reverted to its original name ten years later. And this is the burnt-out shell of the Apollo 1 spacecraft. Also known as the Apollo Saturn 204, it went up in flames on the 27th of January 1967 during a training exercise at Launchpad 34. The AS-204 had a crew of three astronauts, all of whom died in the accident. The spacecraft was due to be launched on top of a Saturn 1B rocket as the first manned flight of a Block 1 Apollo capsule to orbit the Earth. Scheduled for the first quarter of 1967, the flight was intended to launch operations, ground tracking and control facilities, as well as monitor the performance of the Apollo Saturn. On the 27th of January, however, the only plan was to simulate the launch. The three astronauts, Virgil Grissom, known as Gus, Edward White and Roger Chaffee, were all strapped into their seats and hooked up to the capsule systems. Straight away there were problems. As the air in the capsule was being replaced by pure oxygen, the crew members began running through their checklist of space activities while a communication problem was attended to. At just after half past six, one of the crew was heard saying, we've got a fire in the cockpit. A cry of pain was heard shortly after, before transmission cut out. Ed White was seen on the television monitors trying to open the hatch. It is believed that the fire was due to a spark somewhere in the capsule some 50 kilometers of wiring. With pure oxygen in the cabin, it quickly raged out of control. And with a hatch that could only be opened from the outside, the three men didn't stand a chance. The command pilot, Gus Grissom, had had a close shave before. He was chosen as one of the seven Project Mercury astronauts in 1959 after extensive testing, promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel while involved in the space program. As the pilot of the Mercury Redstone 4, or Liberty Bell 7, he nearly drowned during the splashdown when the explosive bolts blew off the hatch prematurely. The spacecraft sank, but Grissom was saved by a helicopter, insisting he had done nothing to detonate the explosives. He was believed by NASA officials, and having cleared his name, Grissom was selected to be the command pilot for the Project Gemini mission in 1964. Edward H. White II was the senior pilot on board the Apollo 1. He had an impressive record. Even amongst astronauts, he was considered a high flyer by NASA and was selected as part of the second group of astronauts in 1962. Following on from Grissom, he was the pilot of the Gemini 4 and accordingly on the 3rd of June 1965, he became the first American to make a spacewalk. He was also the backup command pilot for Gemini 7 and because of the usual crew rotation process, he was due to pilot the Gemini 10, which would have made him the first of his group to fly twice. Instead, he was promoted in 1966 to be the command module pilot for AS-204. The final member of the crew was pilot Roger B. Chaffee, a rookie. Chaffee was a lieutenant commander in the United States Navy, flying reconnaissance missions in RA-3Ds. He gained official recognition for his contribution during the Cuban Missile Crisis, although his exact role was never made clear. In 1963, he was picked to join the third group of astronauts and had yet to make a space flight when he was selected as the Lunar Module pilot for Apollo 1. The backup crew from April to December 1966 were James McDivitt, David Scott and Rusty Schweikart, who all later flew on Apollo 9. And the backup crew from December 1966 to January 1967 consisted of Walter Shiro, Don Azili, and Walter Cunningham. After the tragic end of AS-204, a number of changes were made to the Apollo modules, including a slower changeover to 100% oxygen, a hatch that could be opened from within in fewer than 10 seconds, and flammable materials being replaced with self-extinguishing ones. Launch Complex 34 was more or less dismantled, but the reinforced platform still stands today. On its side are a couple of plaques commemorating the three men who died. The second one closes with the words, Godspeed to the crew of Apollo 1.